It's a team sport where there is no backup or second string. That's right. We are talking about elite cheerleading. And tonight our Andrea Isom introduces us to a local athlete who's looking for some major changes in the sport. I have a very competitive nature. I work really well under pressure and with working harder comes more success. When you think about a cheerleader, what do you think most people think about? Females mainly. Girls. Well, I met a young man who wants you to think about him. 16-year-old Brendan Abair is a member of Elite Cheer in Chesterfield. He's been coming here basically since he was a baby. I started to fall in love with cheer. Well, this lovely lady is the owner. She is also Brendan's coach, but her biggest job in the whole wide world is being Brendan's mom. I opened up the first cheerleading facility in Michigan. My only choice is to cheer here. For some reason, the Michigan High School Athletic Association doesn't allow male cheerleaders to do competitive cheerleading. I can't go out and compete because of my gender. It's not fair. Quality is everything. Everyone's a person. They need to have the same opportunities everybody else has. John Johnson is a spokesperson for the Michigan High School Athletic Association. About 25 years ago, we created a sport exclusively for girls called Girls Competitive Cheer. And it was to fill a gap that existed in opportunities for young women. Now, there are a number of states which do have co-ed cheer teams. I'll compete in Texas, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Ohio. And the list of states goes on. And so does the list of Elite Cheer Michigan's championship wins. We need to accept men cheerleading. There are so many scholarships from boys out in this country for cheerleading. We just keep telling Brendan, you know, keep working hard. And this driven 11th grader is dedicated. Brendan is here every day after finishing school at Michigan Great Lakes Virtual Academy. Me bettering myself made other people want to better themselves also. He shares his videos on social media to encourage other young men that if this is what you want, go for it, even if you live in the Great Lakes state. So, does it always have to be this way? Listen to this. When enough schools in enough numbers have uh, co-ed teams, then the association would certainly look at having a, uh, a co-ed tournament separate from the girls' tournament. Of course, I want to see the progression for my state. So if you want to see change, say it, be it, scream and shout if this is something you care about. In Chesterfield, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. I say let him in. I say let him in. <laughs>